What's going on everybody, Slang Dutchman here. Sorry it has been a while and I'm not even working on my own car because Konrad, this E46, is gonna get white bodied. He saw my car and he thought you're the coolest for having a white body car and I know, I know. But he wanted to be like me so he bought a white body for E46 which is heavily unpacked. He has some cool extra vents in the front fenders but this should be easy to mock up and then probably work on this for two days just all mock up and then tomorrow we're gonna cut the defender and weld it which is a little bit more work but nothing we can't handle we've done it before so let's just unpack everything mock it up and uh, pick the camera back up so after a little bit of cutting we got the original fender cut also for the holes there and um, got two holes it's hard to see black on black but um, we drilled the holes so the rift nuts can go in we put some paint on there because it's bare metal if you drill a hole and it's gonna rust eventually um, it will either way but this is sort of a protection protection that it just uh, you know stays a little bit better so now we put the two on the corners put those in and then uh, the, the, the fender is on there so we can mark up all the other holes, drill them through, drill them to the right size, put all the rift nuts in. It's basically done for one side, one fourth even. So we keep cutting and cutting. This is the other side. And now the original side where we started is already on which is weak fitment now. Anyway, it's the kind of lines up pretty, pretty nice. Not too bad. So probably today we'll do to the front, maybe make a start on the rears, but we shall see. Cut a little bit more here, I think. Where? On, the, on the back. Yeah, somewhere here inside. I'm trying to find it. So we got the front ones on. Yeah, motherfucker, die! <laughs> it's a big difference. This side is on as well. Look out! The tool's almost gonna fall. So, okay. um. Tomorrow, because we're gonna leave it at this, we started at around, what, 3? 3.30 almost. Uh, now it's dinner time, uh, a little bit past dinner time. Tomorrow we're gonna fill in these gaps with some mesh, seal that in. Um, and other than that, we're gonna start on the rear, but now the car is drivable, so you can head home, and we can continue this work tomorrow. But say, say how much you like it, you just love it. I love E46s with a white body, because that makes them extra fat. That makes them cool in my opinion. The next day. Day two, nice and sunny out. Got the boat and the Celica out, because maybe if you've seen in the previous clips, I put the Civic in the corner, instead of the, uh, the Celica being that the Civic is a lot shorter. So the, the Celica came out to like this stubby here that was in the ground that then I finally cut out. So I'm never stubbing my toes on it again. Um, but that's where the Celica ends. So then you can imagine how little space there is between the car and the other car that you're working on. So the Civic is now here. Um, so I just have to roll the Celica out to have some room here. Two more weeks. And the caravan and that BMW are gonna leave the shop and I have all the space to myself. But for now, it was easiest to just pull the Celica and the boat out because uh, looks good in the sunshine though. But now we have all this space here to work on. Conrad is uh, fixing the meshes that go into the front fenders. Took them off already. So now when the mesh is in and all sealed and fixed, we can start on the rear, already drilled two holes, one there and one there. 
So paint that, put the rift nuts in, hang it up, uh, see where all the holes needs to be, and then uh, also start cutting and welding the fender here. Probably not too aggressive, just a line here, and just uh, weld the inner fender to the outside fender, smear it off and be done. So, interesting part is coming now today, because what we did yesterday is not that big of a deal. Just painted everything nice and black, so you don't see all the way inside and uh, upgrades. Now we need some bigger wheels. If anyone has some bigger wheels here for sale in Holland, uh, hit him up in the on Instagram. I'll put his Insta. Oh wait, I don't have to edit. I can just do this. Hit him up on Instagram. <laughs> Sell him some wheels. Preferably something like this. You wanted to have the wide insignia of your wheels, something like that. 275. That's my goal. Well, 275 tires. You don't have that kind of horsepower. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'm planning to make some upgrade, eh? Maybe Turbo is coming too. Turbo! Fix your compression first. <laughs> Can we appreciate this car in the sunshine a bit? It's been a while since we've seen the sparkle. What have you been tightening them with? That wasn't me, I think. No idea. <laughs> Another little side project, this is shop upgrade. Uh, I got this little sink that uh, just mounted to the back wall. And then I made this little bracket and I can put this container on, which has a little funnel thing. You can turn on and off. And then there's gonna be a little hose here. It's gonna be hanging down. So I have somewhat of a water source. I can put another container, for instance, like underneath here with a tube to, to collect the water. Uh, and there is like a, a well thing here, an industrial thing where I can drop all the waste water in. So that's perfect. But uh, yeah, we have at least some water to clean your hands or all the stuff. Perfect. Sorry, we are jumping, jumping steps in this video. So we cut the outside layer out, uh, then an inside one, because of course the two panels are like pinched here at the at the at the edge. So we will take the front panel out, then we cut the back panel. We left with this. We took make some slits to make some relief, so the uh, metal is easier to stretch out. And now we're just bashing the inner wheel weld up till it meets the outer one. That has been cut in a way bigger angle. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not a normal wheel wheel arch. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, we weld it, seal it, and continue on with the body panel, put it on there, because the holes are already there. It's quite, it's quite intimidating to do maybe, but um, once you've done it before, while well, you're at it, you're essentially doing this to somewhat of a user's car. It's never going to be pretty if you put rivets in and put fenders on, so it's, it's mostly a a drift car, race car. Daily. So there's a, a certain degree of zero fucks given. As long as it's sealed, you don't have to worry about it. Then it's all good. But uh, let's just uh, keep bashing. I think we can uh, bang this out for today. It's going better than I thought. I hope so. For me, even it was a little bit intimidating because my car is my car, but it's now doing it as somebody else's car. So, oh well. Let's send it. So. After a little bit of welding, I think you can see it's been somewhat welded up. Uh, maybe a little, few little spots still want to do something. Especially here at the back, it feels like the body material is thinner. Because it likes, like this whole piece worked and then here it likes to go through it a little bit. But that's sad. Uh, the body line is a lot better. And especially if you don't look underneath, like here's the top of the wheel arch and it's now basically one centimeter lower than that. You cannot really go much higher. So it's at the top of the wheel weld. So that should, look, this is, this is top. 
maybe this is straight. So just fingernail depth. Perfect. So let's uh, weld up the last pieces. Etch, cut this edge down a little bit more and then get some body sealer, seam sealer. Smear this in so never any moisture or whatever is gonna get in there. And we can start fitting the panel, which rift nuts are already on. So we can just put that on, mark it up, put the last ones in. I've already been done with this side, so we're making progress. How do you feel now we're cutting into your car? <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck anymore because he's already... Now it's time to make more holes everywhere, just everywhere. <laughs> the speed holes is weight reduction. <laughs> Can you know we have bigger drill bits? Yeah, that, that's what I said. Or but, like the little Christmas thing? See it. Fuck that, man. That's true. What are you doing? Installing a rear license plate with camera? Yeah, man. Because no. why would you turn your head? <laughs> because my mirrors, they are actually electric, but they doesn't work. But Bro, you have M lookalike or real M, I don't even know. I think lookalike mirrors. These are notorious for looking cool, but yeah, but non functional not at all. Yeah, exactly. You can't see like, shit in those. <laughs> and especially like they supposed to be electric, but something doesn't work. And uh, when you're trying to set up, then doing what they want, like you trying to do to make a move like to the left, but it's going up or something like that. So probably that's problem with, uh, yeah, with a lift, those. like with the pins or something like that. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to fix it for now, so don't give a fuck. Well, let me continue welding and then uh, clean it up a little bit and we can start from mounting the fender, which is the easiest job. And then uh, one more side to go. Three fourths of the then, way there. Then maybe we can make a hood. Hood? Yeah. Oh, like wait, the, the fence. Yeah. You still have the vents in the hood. Well, yeah, <laughs> I would love to, but... I, I don't see too big into that on your face. Like, I'm... I don't know if time lets us. I would love to, but you know, Let's see how far we can get today. I can call to your boss and tell him like, we're just not coming to work anymore. I need to work tomorrow, day shift. After five, I'll be done. Like for me, you don't have to work. Right? And then Friday I'm free, Saturday I'm free, Sunday I'm free. But I need to work on the Civic as well. So not not all days are your days. I can help. Oh. You know, like you can count on me. Yeah? So it doesn't look that much different, but uh, at least it's all like welded up grinded the edge off so now it's uh, nice and clean just some seam sealer and this side is done i think we raised it like by this much so i would say we're all good and in the clear and as soon as you put the fender on where is it there in the box you're not gonna see anything so um i just sprayed some uh epoxy rust converter on it because he had like a little spot here that I worked out and just on the inside here. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry and then put the seam sealer on. And then when that is done, we can uh, mount the panel. But I think before that, I'm gonna start working on the other side already and just uh, start cutting, making some lines. So let's go. So looks like I'm setting your car on fire. There was smoke coming out, but uh. Come on. Come out. <laughs> there we go. Oh fuck, it's worse than the other side. Jesus, man. He had rust problems. Yeah. Woo. I mean. The way worse than the other side, eh? No, way worse. The other side was like this, like what a little crusty spot. But this is just a whole... Like for an old hand. But that's the only rusty spot which we find actually. And there's a small spot over there on the, on the, on the right side. That's why all that dropped out when I kicked it. Yeah, but for a 20, she's from 2001. So 22 years old car. So it's actually not so bad in my opinion. You want to look at my Volvo that is over 30 years old? Yeah, but that's Volvo. That's probably something different. That's completely no, different. no, no. They did it normally. Everyone else was just cutting corners. Yeah, because they didn't expect like somebody from Europe's gonna buy it. Like, like it's gonna stay. Extra piece of sheet metal. 
Well, anyway, first layer is out. Now basically we can cut this through and then bash this up, make it meet this panel, weld it up just like the other side. That's all we're doing. Because this is basically, yeah, this is the top. So this is roughly around the same size. I did it by eye, but you know, fender is on, you're never gonna see it. So this is <laughs> probably gonna be easy to, well, I don't know if there's anything to weld here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just picked this all out by hand, like. I see, I see. I see. Yeah, exactly. You can there's nothing, mu not much to to weld. Fuck me! But maybe something's gonna stay, huh? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It is little. Grommets. Okay, Always keep those, they come in handy. <laughs> I mean, he just did the license plate with the camera, which is feed with a wire through a hole using one of these grommets that came from this side. Reuse, people. We love aftermarket <laughs> so, getting to weld this to this is it's gonna be. Not possible, I can say even. It's not gonna be easy. Let's put it that way. It's never, never was Maybe easy. Maybe we can add some extra material from more from inside even. Or it's not make sense. What do you think? We shall see, because <laughs> if not doable, because here's like that extra layer. Yeah. So it's thick enough here. But the thing is, uh, is it enough to? Yeah, because normally you have this much material that you can bash up. <laughs> but like, way. there's nothing here to bash up because this is not weldable. You know how So we is? might need to do a little plate here to connect the inner inside to the outside. It was too good, you know. So here we go. Yeah, it was going way too well on the other so side. So on the on the same end, it must be surprised. Like, ah, why we, why we didn't start? What from is what is a little bit of extra welding? Oh. We can fix this. You can fix it. Just watch. A few minutes later, it's all been done. Uh, as you can see, like here we're able to match up the line with the body. So I was able to tag it and not burn through it. So that's also a good thing. This likes to let go a little bit. But that's no biggie. Uh, just gonna seal it all up. Maybe nice and tight. Put the fender on, you're not gonna see anything of it. Like Conrad is doing on this side. Now if you can see the fender, I don't know, you can't fix anything up, but like it's, the fender is like here somewhere inside the wheel weld. So I would say that's enough travel for the wheel. Should be all good. And uh, install the front ones. One more to go, almost there. So, after welding everything up, we took some seam sealer and we sealed the whole thing up. So now it's like nice and protected. No water is gonna get in there. Just uh, safe from the elements. We already drilled all the holes for the fender. We can put the fender on. Just let it settle, let it dry. And put the wheels on and we can see the end result. So after all that work, both front and rears are on, wheels back on. But to be honest, I mean, this, this fitment is still a little bit weak, but um, you know, it has to, has to do with the fronts. I mean, that is terrible. If everyone knows uh, a Dutch child uh, show, uh, Basin Adrian, this looks like uh, the Plaaggeest with his fucking cheeks. Wheels. So I was like, you know, you need to fit some proper wheels to give the car a look. Leave it down in the comments. White wheels or gold wheels? And I'll have my mind made up. Not even the style of the wheel, but the white is just so much better on the black. And the fitment. 
by chance. This thing is perfect. Can only drop down a little bit, I would say. And also the rears, just so good. I could have taken the drone out for some beauty shots. Oh, Jesus. But let's do that when uh, everything is uh, more show worthy and you washed it. Also the little vents we made in the front, they're now in and fully, well functional, it's not really a functional functional vent but still. Usually it is from the, the wind that is in here but this guy want to keep his inner arches. So it's now a useless vent. Also on this side. But I do think though, uh, it makes the car a lot better, a lot more aggressive. And especially with the stance of these wheels. Woo. So yeah, I hope you're happy with it. Of course I am, that's a silly question. Now let's take the wheels off, put your own wheels back on. You can go home, because once again, dinner time. Perfect timing though. So with that, I want to thank each and everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe if you uh, want to see more of this stuff. Check out the progress on Konrad's E46, because everything basically we're going to do is well, we're doing it here for content, especially the big things like this. Also with my E36, it's been uh, not on the channel as much lately because I'm working on the Civic, but yeah, can't help it. Um, but beside that, like I said, like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.